Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, and what's next. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just keep that in mind. If this does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Leo. I have a ton of videos there that you can watch. All right, spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have? for Leo in regards to love. This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, let's get into this. For Leo spirit, what messages do you have for Leo for the month of, no, oh, I got three here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. So let's see what this is all about. Actually, I want to use this deck. Let's see what's going on in your connection for Leo. What's going on for Leos in love? going on for Leo's in love What's going on for Leo's in love spirit the star reverse Aquarius energy there what else can you tell us spirit seven of wands Five of Cups. So there has been something here that has been difficult when it comes to this connection. Maybe someone in this connection is losing hope or not having or losing faith. Um, maybe there is a lot of healing that still needs to take place because something happened in the past that someone's still thinking about with the Five of Cups. There could be someone missing you or vice versa with the Five of Cups. But the Five of Cups is all about someone looking at what has already taken place and feeling regret or sadness or disappointment because of it. And the Seven of Wands here, this is someone that's fighting back, fighting the opposition, um, resisting, protecting themselves, defending themselves. Um, this is someone who is willing to stand firm So I feel like someone here is trying to fight for this, even though, I don't know. It could also be that there has been so many challenges that someone's ready to give up here or doesn't really have a lot of hope or faith in this succeeding. We'll see. Tell me more for Leo. Let me clarify these energies. Why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the star reverse? Ten of Pentacles. What I'm immediately seeing is someone wants to go from being free and independent to something long term. This could also be something to do with money, stability. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very independent, uh, self-reliant, successful as well. Ten of Pentacles is usually the pinnacle of success, um, long term commitments, family, traditions, stability. I feel like someone wants to move towards this stage. I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So maybe there's a risk involved in going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, but this is a progression forward. So I feel like someone wants to, you know, cement something or um, make something long term or successful or something like that. But the Star Reverse is almost like there's 
a feeling of helplessness or like perhaps you are, yeah, page of pentacles reverse. Like maybe they're not able to get this started or perhaps finances are a problem. Someone's unable to make a, a real solid offer here. Six of wands, uh, swords. I was going to say six of wands. Six of swords, eight of wands. This is movement. Someone here in this connection could be wanting to move forward or someone left this connection. In the past or right now, there's a separation. We'll see. Because I do have the nine of pentacles. Why is the seven of wands here? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Someone's possibly fighting um, for something to not end or to remain the same here. They don't want anything to change. Sorry, my... <laughs> I burned some sage and it's going... Okay, hold on. I was going to say I burned some sage and it's going up my nostrils. <laughs> very strong okay so let's see let's try that again tell me more for the seven of wands please for Leo why is the seven of wands here the tower reverse yeah someone does not want this to end someone's fighting for this to uh, not end, not change. They're trying to avoid a tower from taking place here. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Yeah. I have the Ten of Wands at the bottom. This is someone with the Four of Cups reverse and the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is someone that has um, had a change of heart or... Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's almost like they've changed their mind, but it might be too late. Tell me if this is resonating for you, Leo, down in the comments. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Three of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Someone's having regrets. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. For Leo. Yep. Someone could have been juggling more than one person. And I feel like this is an ongoing thing with my Leos. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords Reverse. Someone could be, um, like I'm picturing someone who's, who's even resorting to deception to keep someone from resisting them or blocking them. Someone could have cut someone off as well. Three of Pentacles reverses. This could be some sort of interference here with the Two of Pentacles reverse. This for me as a reader is someone that's juggling two things and cannot juggle it anymore. It could be two people here. Now with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, I feel like someone's looking at the past and wanting to work on something, wanting to put in effort. You know, it's like maybe they've had a change of heart and now they're willing to put in effort here. You know, make the effort is on the board here. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. What are they working on here? Tell me more, please, about this Eight of Pentacles. Communication, movement with the Eight of Wands. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. The Hermit, Virgo energy. They're thinking about maybe what they're going to say with the Hermit and the Eight of Wands or what moves they're going to make. They're thinking deeply about what, what exactly they can do here. So let's see, what are you feeling towards each other? For Leo, Tell me about the energies of this connection spirit. What are Leo's energies at this time? What are Leo's energies at this time? Fire ant, okay. 
Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies at this time? I'm picturing you like upset. I'm picturing there's a lot of drama, a lot of people involved here. They have a secret or something they need to share with you with the lamb. Let's get some more information. Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that you can print at home. It's listed down below if you're interested. Spirit, tell me more for Leo. Tell me more about Leo's energies. Tell me more about Leo's energies, please. Ooh, we got true love. Love soulmate. This love is genuine and true. So you really, yeah, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You really have feelings for this person. Perhaps you feel they're your soulmate. Tell me about Leo's person's energies. Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. So your person is feeling stuck or trapped in a situation here. Um, could be that burden that we saw earlier. Bottom of the deck, paralyzing fear. Fear is holding you back from what you desire. So this person, this is the, the Eight of Swords here. These two combined. Someone's feeling um, trapped, but I feel it's a, it's a, a mental thing, not really um, a physical thing. Hang on, guys. I'm like inhaling these um, fumes. All right, let's see. Let's get more information. Now, Leo, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Leo and this other person. Tell me more stuff the month of December. How is Leo thinking or feeling about this person or this connection? Ace of Swords. You want to talk? You want clarity? You want to clear the air? That was way too many. What else for Leo? What are Leo's thoughts or feelings about this connection or this person? Eight of Swords reverse. Breaking free, seeing a way out of your situation. This could be you cutting something out of your life as well. How is Leo thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? You could be wanting to overcome fear. King of Swords reverse. This is you being angry. Some of you could be upset at the way that things have happened here. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Yeah. Five of Wands. I feel like there might have been a fight or arguments, conflict, drama. And I feel like th this has upset you. That Five of Wands is that fire ant energy. Tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. What are their feelings towards Leo or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling about Leo or this connection? The magician reverse. So they're not able to make something happen here. What else are they thinking or feeling about Leo or this connection? Nine of wands reverse. This is, again, that energy of wanting to give up. Perhaps this is someone that they don't want to give up, even though this is a lost cause. There's the Page of Pentacles upright this time. So they want to make you at least a small offer. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. They might even wonder if you'll accept their offer, if you'll even pay attention to what they have to say. This could be some sort of message here as well. I don't think they're able to manifest something. It's almost like they wanted to maybe bring you a better offer and have the Ten of Wands again there. 
this is someone that's burdened, tied up to something, or perhaps a lot of time is needed, a lot more investment or energy is e needed here in order to bring this offer. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Page of Swords. This is communication. This person wants to talk to you, perhaps they're watching you, um, and they could be coming to see you with the Six of Swords. But this is someone that wants to talk. Um, they want to talk about an offer, talk about potential commitment. Um, perhaps this is like a text or a DM or something like that. Um, but they're serious about communicating with you. Um, they could be coming to see you. Like I said, they could live a long distance from you. Why is the magician reverse? Why is the magician reverse? Queen of Wands. So they're not able to go after what they want. This could be you, this Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Magician Reverse. The Full Reverse, yeah. This is someone that's unable to really have a new beginning with you. They want a new beginning, they want to take a risk, but this is too risky. Reckless even. This person is unable to have something with you. That's what I'm seeing. Tower reverse is because they're trying to avoid a tower. They're trying not to rock the boat, I'm feeling here. Let's see what other card that can we use. Actually, I'll use this deck here. So what is next? I'm going to pull a couple cards here. All right, so what is next for this connection between Leo and this other person? What's next for this connection? There you are, showing up to your own reading. Strength reversed. Lacking courage. Not able to bring something under control. What's next for this connection? Eight of Wands reverse and Two of Wands reverse. So this is someone that's um, unable to move forward with the Eight of Wands reverse. This could even be someone that is unable to communicate. Wands reverse. This could be somebody that, um, let's see. The lovers, okay. So this is a choice here that someone has made or will be making with the lovers. A choice between what their heart is telling them and what their mind is telling them. Gemini energy. Someone's making a choice, a different choice than the one they've made. This is what's ha to happen next is some sort of choice because things are not moving forward. This could be you making a choice as well, Leo. You might be like, this is like enough is enough. Or this person that you're dealing with could also be thinking that as well. I don't want to be tied up anymore. Or um, I want to be with my Leo, whatever the case. Um, but at the moment, I don't see a lot of movement or action here. Possibly even not a lot of communication for some of you with the Eight of Wands reversed. Um, and it's because it, it's someone needs to break free of this fear. This fear of rocking the boat with the tower reversed here. You know, someone needs to stop thinking this is the end of the world, you know. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you. All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subs subscribes, and I'll see you in another video.